the Sweet 16. Let's go state. It's Kyle Bryan and Sarah. Sarah, how are you feeling today? You watched your first state game all the way through time. Saturday Ooh, night. She did it. I she did. We're and so they proud won, of you. So I am not a part of the curse, which makes me feel better. But yeah, you were never part of the we curse, knew that. Sarah. <laughs> well, I you did. You didn't it, watch the game. And, it's uh, fine. Anyway. I was more stressed than I've ever been in my life. My, yeah. my my neighbors now know I'm from Eastern North Carolina that I can get very, very loud. And my son was just like, why are you being so loud? I was like, because I'm stressed, Luca. He I'm didn't stressed. realize the magnitude of the moment. He doesn't know the history and no. like what that game meant and no. you know what was going to happen to state or whatnot. Um, there's so many different things we could discuss around this. I mean, the city uh, was on another level of energy Saturday night because Raleigh, North Carolina has not felt NC State in that moment in a really long time. Uh, I was at Players Retreat Saturday night. I know you guys were watching from home, but just to see the energy from everybody on social media, wherever you watched, I mean, you just felt that rise with NC State moving on to the Sweet 16. They're going to the Sweet I 16. Know. Some of my favorite Sarah texts. <laughs> I am so stressed out. I'm dying. I can't take it. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> F. I effing hate it. I am in actual pain. <laughs> Gah. <laughs> F. Oh my God. I hate this. Over time, I'm going to perish. <laughs> the couch I sit on is not safe. <laughs> Is overtime sudden death? <laughs> oh, I remember that one. I, and neither one of you answered me. Eddie God. couldn't answer me. That was a sorry, sir. I was in the thick of you it. Were it plays the middle of it. <laughs> Brian, you know that was actually a really good interpretation, a translation oh, of what Sarah so experienced. So funny. Um, but, oh, it's like it's just like it's like a fresh little eighteen-year-old out at war, <laughs> seeing things that you've never seen for the very first time. True. Sarah, your pain. It was enjoyed by Kyle and I. I'm sure it was so much. <laughs> yes, that was a that was a very good translation, Brian Lord. Um, but just the fact that uh, NC State and check this out. Maybe some of you did not realize this, but uh, NC State and Duke are playing in Dallas this weekend. And if they both win their first game this weekend, they will play each other in the Elite Eight to decide who goes to the Final Four. The fact that State is even in a moment like that. It's hard to wrap your your brains around even a couple days later. And I'm, you know, congratulations to UNC and Duke as well. Also the NC State women's basketball team, uh, Duke women's basketball team. But a lot of times, you know, UNC and Duke, they're used to being in this moment. Fans exactly. of those teams, it's like expected to be in the Sweet 16. State fans hope to win a game in the ACC tournament. Now they've won seven games in 11 days, which is also unbelievable. And going to the Sweet 16 in Dallas. I really hope that NC State Duke thing happens. It's going to be a long shot because Duke has to beat the number one team and NC State has to beat the number two team. Yes. In order to do that. Uh, yes. But the fact that they're still in the same bracket now in the same site is crazy happen. to think That's about. That's crazy. And then what would be even more crazy, NC State to win the ACC tournament had to beat Duke than UNC in the mm -hmm. championship. How crazy would it be if NC State had if to beat like Duke that. in the Elite Eight, went to the championship to face Carolina, UNC, which could happen. Yep. The, the fact that this is even a chance, it's, it's crazy. Cra it's crazy to think about, which I love. Uh, so like I mentioned a moment ago, I was in I was in the thick of it Saturday night. Yeah, you're the PR. You guys know me. I If there's something like this, I want to be a part of it and experience it as much as I can. I love, by the way, uh, ran into one of our listeners, Will, a uh, longtime NC oh, State fan. Did? He was Will there at the bar. Yeah, he said, I love Will. Uh, oh, I love Will, Will was already set up at the bar. I'm like, Will, what time did you get here to get this bar seat? He's like, I got here at 5.15. I'm like, yeah, you did. You're not sitting here unless you get here at least two hours before the game starts. Um, but then the moment happened. I'm recording all the audio. And then it was like seconds left. And then, and this is when people really started to lose their mind because for the longest time, um, you know, it was just nervous energy. And then when you realize back and forth and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then when you realize the moment was happening, the NC State was going to the Sweet 16. Here's Tilly, one of the bartenders. I'm so high right now. You have no idea. <laughs> oh Let's, go. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Why not us? Why not us? Why not us? We're running to the tower. Uh, I'm a finish up and close up this bar, but y'all go ahead and go up there for <laughs> I love she's losing her voice. Tilly is Sarah in the group chat. Yes. Yeah. And once Sarah and I, this is my wife Sarah and I, acting like we're college students, running to the tower, dodging wolf line buses, we made it, of course, in the middle of everybody. We're at the top of the tower, and then all of a sudden I looked over and I see a guy with a cowboy hat on. He was a student. Looked like he'd just been doing the world's toughest rodeo in Texas.
Texas over the weekend, but back just in time. Dude, I'm feeling absolutely great. I'm feeling immaculate right now. I just came back from Texas. I just came back from Texas, and I'm back in the best state of the nation. And I'm at the best university, and that's North Carolina State. Go oh, Wolfpack yeah. Go to hell, Carolina. Many... He's feeling immaculate. <laughs> and then he ends with, go to hell, North Carolina. How many people were at the tower? Brian, I lost track. It, it would, I, I don't know, 500 people, 1,000 people. Nice. I mean, there was a lot of people. Everybody that was in that vicinity, and the fact, I mean, 30 minutes later, I mean, I was still out there for quite, I was out there for quite some time. I mean, then all of a sudden, it's like you see everybody else coming from the other side of campus, you know, rushing We're the going scene. going to the same spot. I'm feeling awesome. This is, I mean, it's, it's, I have no words. It's speechless. I never expected this we to happen. Don't feel like this on NC State's campus that often, but tonight's the night. How are you doing? Tonight is the night. I would have been doing better if we won by seven, but I'm feeling great. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like somebody betted on the game. Bet on the game. <laughs> I would have been doing better if we, we won, won by, by seven. seven. <laughs> A lot of observations I made that night. Howling Cow ice cream, serving up the free ice cream, did not know, did not matter the scene behind them. Dude smashing beers on the bell tower, and she was committed to serving the ice cream. I did talk to awesome. her as well. Uh, great scene, though, by the cops as well. Uh, NC State Police, so happy to be posted up at the bell tower. I saw a couple cops, and they're just standing there like, you could tell their face was like, oh, my God, this is awesome. Uh, but they're trying to, like, keep the cool about Yeah, them. yeah. But I'm like, I just see the – I'm like, dude, I see you smiling right now. You're so happy you're in the thick of this right now. Students were like, hey, just just, just don't hurt yourself. Go State, Sweet 16 bound. It's Kyle O'Brien and Sarah on Mix 101.5.